Hi everyone, I wanted to do a video on a new idea that I've had today. Um, I'm just going to show the doorbell to you quickly because they, as you can see, they've got all extra bedding in the nest at the moment because um, my heating's broken. So I obviously can't put it on, so the house is really cold right now. Um, it's been like this since yesterday morning. Um, I woke up to find out that it had broken. So um, we've all just been able to have like really super quick showers and it's been horrible like before the water's like completely run out. Um, so it's been like that today and um, yesterday. So um, a man's going to come and fix it um, at five o'clock today. So hopefully it should be back on, the house should heat up a little bit more, but um, these guys have just be, um, stayed in their bed um, most of that time, um, just because their body heat is really warm, um, so they should be fine, um, but um, it, it is pretty cold, so I've just had to like come up to my room and like sit in bed and wrap up in my dressing gown. To warm up and I've checked on the babies but um, I've not been able to help hold them again the eyes are all open now and um, I'm sorry I've been meaning to put a proper video up of me holding them now but um I tried to make a video and it cut off and it was going wrong so it was a bit annoying so I'm going to remake that at some point um, but I've not been able to hold them at the moment because my hands are so cold and I can't warm them up. I normally rinse them under hot water, but I can't do that because um, I obviously don't have any hot water at the moment. Um, and um, it wouldn't be fair to them to hold them with such cold hands. So I have been in there fed Harry and Woody some treats, but they're... Um, let me just show you them quickly actually. They have been sleeping under this tunnel now. I've got some really cute pictures as well, which I'm going to add in. So you can see there, that was one of the babies. Looks a bit like a mum. Um, and they've all got their eyes open. So they've been sleeping under there. <laughs> they come out sometimes. They look so different now, their eyes are open though. Um, and as you can see over here I've put a bowl in um, but the mum and dad have been eating most of the food because the baby ate an oat for the first day yesterday um, so baby's coming out <laughs> they do love to run around the cage now so they're still having their mum's milk but um, they have got little teeth coming through now which I've seen so um they're 18 days old now and they wean at four weeks old around when the new litter is due so they are starting to eat a bit of solid food at the moment as well so I've got that bowl there but Harry is sat in it stuffing her face and also the water bottle but they've not started to drink just yet I need to put it a little bit lower so that's those guys and um, this room is reasonably warm when I shut the door but um, I can't I just can't wait to get the heating on now because um, they seem alright though but um, they won't have to huddle up so much then so I feel a bit bad so sorry my room's such a mess there's stuff all over my floor um, yeah so I wanted to show you um, what I've been thinking of doing and um, it is this um, if you watch my videos you'll perhaps remember me talking about the Expedit stand from Ikea which is this white thing here and you can also get it in like black and um, like a oak effect I think it is or beach I can't remember um, but most people have it in white and I really like the white one um, and I talked about, see if I can back up a little bit, um, I, this is what I have um, 
them on and I have these little um, canvas boxes that I keep like all their pet stuff in so I have quite a lot of um, durable related things and um, so that it's full up with all four are fill up, filled up with um, pet things at the moment so I'm thinking of getting two more but where I'm going to put that I do not yet know um, as I don't have much room left in my room but I'm thinking of turning two of them into a cage and um, like a custom built tank for the gerbils I've seen um, I've seen someone do it before um, but with a bigger expedite bookcase and they they are on YouTube but I've forgotten his name I do watch his videos um, quite a lot to do with it because it gives me a lot of inspiration for like the interior layout of the gerbil tank and stuff so he's really good and he's done it um, for rubber, two Robbers Rovsky hamsters um, I've never actually seen anyone do it for gerbils I've seen people do it for winter white hamsters before um, there is a website and it's called I might get the name wrong but I'll put the link at the bottom it's called Ikea Hackers basically if you google hamster expedit cage it will come up with Ikea Hackers and basically the website is all um, is like people that have bought Ikea furniture and then they have um, altered it um, and there's quite a popular one where people have altered it into um, have changed them into hamster cages um, so there's a few on there and there's, there's a really good one there's a girl that's on like Flickr I think uh, I'm not sure if she's on YouTube but I'll put a link to the Flickr and it shows you um, step by step um, like the way that she did hers but hers was a bigger one as well um, but it's amazing she did hers for winter white hamsters um, the reason I wanted to do it with an expedite is because I don't really want to get another big tank um, I know now that Harry has, is going to have to stay in the gerbilarium because she doesn't like being in a tank she just jumps at the corner constantly and um, she's quite happy with her bars um, so the gerbilarium that I have her in at the moment is suitable for three gerbils um, so I'm going to keep that one, possibly upgrade to the slightly bigger one from Pets at Home um, but I'm not sure yet and um, so she's going to live in that one with her two daughters and I'm going to thinking of um, just giving the others so giving Woody and his two, the two babies that he's staying with giving them um, a bit more space because um, I've always wanted to make a cage like this so it's going to be for them um, so I just thought that I wanted to make it from this because if you can see they are like really big squares and because I've seen what people have done with them already I think that a custom made um, tank is like the best way to go really because it looks really good and you know it's a really pretty piece of furniture if you do it properly so anyway I'll just leave that one out so I can show you um, so I drew this up um, I've got quite a few drawings actually that I'm, I wanted to show you and just see what everyone thinks I drew this up like a few months ago it is quite faint this one because um, I just wanted to work it all out um, so this here all of it is going to be made up of two if you can see two of these but on some of them um, the dividers are going to be taken out to make like a bigger um, a bigger rectangle and um, so this very top one is going to have glass sliding doors and then so is this one and then it was going to be split into two but I have actually changed the design since since this one but I'll show you anyway and um, this is going to be like a smaller room and then you're going to go through and this will be another ream these are both got sliding glass doors 
um, and then this at the bottom which has now been changed as well was going to be a big tunneling area and it was going to be made up of the two bottom um, squares and it was going to have this divider taken out so basically they can just go down through a hole from this level and just have all of this to dig in um, and the front of it was going to be made of a big sheet of plexiglass um, which was going to be drilled into the actual frame like into here so that you couldn't take it off and the only way to get into it was like a hatch through the back but anyway then I started um, I did a bit more of a detailed drawing of it um, basically saying which um, dividers I was going to remove um, showing where the vents were going to be um, saying that I wanted to have it with a plywood back so if you go on this girl's Flickr account you can have a look for yourself um, you can see it on her Flickr page and she shows like how she did plans for hers um, so I thought it was a really good idea to actually do really detailed plans because then it will show you um, sort of how you're going to make it um, it will help you when you do come to make it um, so that's that one and showing that I was going to put metal vents at the top as well with mesh over them and then on the back I did another one showing like where I wanted to have the sliding doors and the holes in the floor um, and I've been thinking about how tricky it's going to be as well it's going to be slightly more difficult making this for gerbils rather than making it for hamsters because the guy that's on YouTube I'm sorry I have forgotten his name um, he doesn't actually have sliding doors he has like plexiglass for his doors but he has um, they come up about halfway and then he has like hatches uh, sorry like he has like hinges um, and then the top of it comes up let me show you it comes up and it leaves a gap of just a little bit just about this much but that's fine because he has rubber swabsky hamsters and they cannot jump but for me to have something like that for a gerbil it it wouldn't be practical because they could escape and also everything is going to have to be tube proof um <clears throat> so everything that is going to be um, important into keeping the cage together has to be tube proof um, and then basically I go on to explain how you're going to get into this area how I'm going to fix it on um, and the next part is like a really um, rough doodle and um, this is just what I wrote down so that I would remember what I was thinking about and um, I didn't even use a ruler or anything um, so this was the original design and um, this was the back of it so this was the hatch that was going to be at the back of the digging area um, and then I went on to flip it around so I changed it so that it would be the one above and the one below if that makes sense and take this out so that they'll be able to dig downwards instead of across so it will be a lot deeper for them um, and I was going to put a hatch at the back um, and it's going to be the whole square and this just shows like how um, it's going to have these fixed on to open and close it um, and it's going to have to be metal lined um, because I'm going to have to make it tube proof this is another thing as well the only things that you can really use for gerbils that are tube proof are metal, glass and rock everything else they were trying two three you can use resin which is like what they make well what this food, food dish is made of resin <clears throat> and that is um they've not been able to do that at all because it is so hard and really solid and um, they do make fake rocks for like aquariums and things out of resin so that could be worth buying if you want to put something like decorative in the tank and you can't use like plastic or anything um, so they're the only things that they cannot chew but they will still try and chew them um, so you want to make sure that if you're going and making this cage and this would apply to like buying a cage as well you want like the um, 
you want the main things that you don't want to definitely be destroyed the important features of the cage or of the tank or of, well it's basically the the area that they're living in you want those to be made of either metal glass or rock and you also want to add some wood in there for them to chew because you want to encourage them to chew the wood you know for their teeth and because it's healthy for them um, so you want to put lots of wood in the tank for them um, but you don't want any like plastic or anything um, so if anything is plastic like let me just show you like on here they have this plastic for you to start tube but it's metal lined um, because basically any edges or any corners or anything they can get their mouth around they'll try and chew it so because it's the edges and it's lined with metal they can't actually destroy it and also you can also use like hard plastic but it's going to be up to you whether you think they can chew it or not like this wheel they've not been able to chew at all so it's a really good wheel to get for them it's the silent spinner wheel um, but they have actually chewed the back of it <laughs> because um, it doesn't seem to have gotten any worse because the wheel now is against the side of the tank but when it just used to be freestanding they did use to chew it quite a bit um, yeah so thick plastic if you have to use any plastic in the tank at all so then this was just a few notes about like the size of the plexiglass pane that I'm going to get um, a bit about where I'm going to get the lights from like Ikea and stuff and stuff that I can um, start buying like sliding door locks and coconut hooks uh, then this is a list that I made the other day um, things to buy for the build so it's all the things I need to get and things to buy for the interior um, and then um, this was the new layout and I put it to house three plus gerbils um, but you could possibly have I'd say four was the most, three to four, for it to still be comfortable. You shouldn't, you shouldn't really be having more than four gerbils live together anyway, um, because they could split up and declam. There could be fights and things. So four is really the limit, I would say, in one cage. Um, so then I decided on like what what each area is going to be. So this is going to be, first of all, where the two are going to be attached together. So it's going to be the two of these. So in the top area, I decided it was going to be like the kitchen area. And that's going to be where they get all their food, um, mostly. And the next area is going to be like a play or exercise area. It's going to be like a foresty theme. Um, and then down into the next one, is going to be a bathing room and it's going to be like a desert theme and down to the the last small one it's going to be like a bedroom so it's going to be like a comfy area for them to sleep and then they can go down into this deep burrow area which is going to be filled with lots of digging material and um, so that was like a more detailed design um, then this just shows what the ceiling is going to look like on each square. So basically, it's going to be up here. Um, so on each one, apart from apart from the burrow one, I'm not going to have any lights in that one. In each one, I'm going to have lights. And so I've decided on um, a LED IKEA light, and it's going to be like a white light. Um, on each one and then on each one I'm going to have a strip of red LED lights okay so these are going to be super glued onto the ceiling and then I'm going to take the wires down and because gerbils can jump quite high 
I'm going to also put a mesh over the entire ceiling. So um, just to cover the wires and the lights up. Because they are just LED lights and they don't get very hot. But just to be safe. And then I did some more detailed sketches of the interior what I want the interior to look like and the kind of things I want it to look to be in it. Um, sorry my drawings aren't very good, they're a bit messy. So this is going to be the kitchen area which is going to be the large area made up of two of these squares with this taken out. Um, it's going to be at the very top. Um, so I'm going to have a water bottle here. Um, I need to find a way of, that I'm going to fix it on. Um, but I'm going to try and put a water bottle on almost every level just because I want water to be always like easily available for them but um, it's mainly going to be here then we're going to have the potty on a glass block and um, it's going to be glued to this um, using fish tank sealer so it's safe um, and I'm just going to take the whole thing out when I need to empty and wash it um, and I'm going to have like wooden hanging toys and treats um, I'm going to see if I can fit a um, glass corner shelf and um, whether there's enough room for everything else as well um, and I'm going to maybe put the food dish and um, a treat dish as well and like a wire wrap for like vegetables. Um, the bedding in here is just going to be um, large sawdust, like wood shavings, sorry. So um, it's going to be quite shallow so that it's more practical for putting items in this level. I'm going to have some large rocks and I've been thinking about growing some cat grass as well. You can actually get seeds off eBay and it's um, perfectly fine food gerbils to eat and really healthy and it's good for guinea pigs and rabbits as well and I'm going to get some millet spray as well and there's going to be a coconut house on each level too um, so that's the kitchen area then the next level is going to be the play forest and this one's going to have the two wheels which I showed you before um, probably another water bottle. I'm going to use the tube proof water bottle so I can put them on the inside. I'm not too sure how I'm going to attach them though. Um, it's going to have a tree branch and um, some tubes. Um, the bedding in here is going to be coconut chips. Um, it's going to have wooden bridges, so a lot of wooden toys in here. Um, the wooden house, lots of hanging toys and tubes and some rocks as well and um, so I'm just going to have two wheels because I think that will be enough I don't really um, go with what people say like one wheel per gerbil one wheel per hamster I've always had no problem because just having like one wheel and um, but because this tank is going to be so big I do want to have two there like two should be fine for three gerbils because um, it's really unlikely that they'll all want to go on up on the wheel at once um, and because there's so much else to do um, yeah I normally find that um, some don't even like the wheel anyway so they never go on it so that's going to be the play forest and then this area is going to be like the beach it's going to be um, for them to go and bathe in I know people say it's bad to have them living on sand. This is going to be made up from reptile sand. And I have, um, it's a brand called Repti Sand. Um, I have read really good reviews of people keeping their gerbils on it. Um, so it's it's not irritated any of their eyes or anything. Um, <clears throat> if they do want to get away from it, they can do. They can go to a different room. This is they wouldn't be able to get away from the sand in the wild so I don't necessarily think it's a bad thing for them to have it within their um, environment that they live in and um, so in here there's going to be some large rocks, coconut house, water bottle, 
gonna have some plants and cat grass gonna have some straw mats um, and gonna have a small forest branch so that's just gonna be like a small area like the size of this and then the next small area is going to be the bedroom and um, so this is going to be like a really comfy room for them to go and sleep or go and have a rest in it's going to be filled with deep care fresh ultra and also wilkinson's um, paper bedding i want it to be like really white and look really clean and um, it's also going to have a natural hammock and um, but i'm debating on whether i'm going to put a comfy looking like a comfy like fleecy hammock in but gerbils do tend to chew those so I'm not too sure whether to do that yet. So that is the end of my um, little drawings. Um, I hope you liked them. So I have been thinking about doing this for quite a while. Um, it's not going to probably going to happen properly anytime soon because I have worked the budget out and everything and it is going to be quite expensive. Um, so it's going to have to be done over quite a long period of time, just building up um, the things that I need for the build and for the interior as well. So it's going to be have to have to be done over like quite a few months, but I'm starting to bring the plans together, um, and also I may have to wait until I move in June just to see how big um, not too sure like how big my room's going to be or how big like the house is even going to be so I don't know if I go and build it if I'll be able to even fit it in then that would just be a massive waste so you might have to wait till June I think it's the end of June that I'm moving um, but I can start things going um, so I'm looking into how much the perspex window is going to be which is going to be um, from about here right down to here it's going to be quite a large piece it's going to be a similar size to the lid and the same thickness as well because I don't want it to be able to bend um, so this is the same kind of thing that I want I just want it without the holes in um, I don't actually know where this came from because it was like this when I bought the tank. A lot of, of squeaking going on. I don't know why they're all trying to cram in there. And there's like a really lovely nest to go and sleep in. But hey ho. Um, so, yeah, I just wanted to show you all my plans that I have on paper. Um, messing about now. And I'll hopefully show you a vid be able to put a video up soon of me holding um all of the babies um because they are running around now and they're really really cute they've all got their eyes open and um, so hopefully i'll be able to show you that and um, if you've got any questions about the ikea expedit um, i will put the links at the bottom just feel free to ask me anything or give me any advice if you've got any Thanks for watching. Bye.